Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Maximum of Hot Tips. This week I'm going to explain how not saving your image by default can actually save you a little bit of time. So here I am in Maxwell Render and this image is just a personal project I've been working on and it's gone to SL10 and it took 5 minutes 20 seconds with a benchmark of 730.97. But this image is the exact same project to SL10 but it only took 4 minutes 56 seconds with a benchmark of 789.93. So this one's about 10% faster. And finally, this image is the exact same project to SL10, but it took 4 minutes 42 seconds with a benchmark of 826.03, about 15% faster than the first image. So what's going on? Well, in this first image, if you go to the Render Options window and the Output, you can see that I've got both the image and MXI checkboxes enabled. But in the second image, I haven't saved the MXI. And finally, in the third image, I haven't saved the image nor the MXI. And all of this is adding up to a nearly 15% difference to the original, which is obviously going to save a lot of time in bigger renders. The downside of this is that if you don't save the MXI, you can only adjust your camera options when Maxwell is still open. For example, at the moment I can still adjust my ISO and refresh my scene, but the moment I close Maxwell Render, I cannot then open this MXI because it doesn't exist. However, of course what I can do is save the MXI manually after the render is finished and then I can open this file later on and change whatever settings I need to. However, don't forget that also you won't be able to resume your render if you stop it, or if it reaches its final sampling level, you have to render the image all over again if you don't save an MXI. And also you can't use network rendering, but then in a network, your render is going to be pretty fast anyway. And also you have to remember to at least save your image manually if you're not going to render out the image or the MXI by default. However, what can save you a lot of time is if you're doing an animation and you save the image by default but not the MXI. Even on a relatively simple animation, it can save you hours of render time. But of course, let's have a look at how to actually set this up in the first place in Maxwell Studio. Here I am in Maxwell Studio, and if I don't want to save an MXI, all I have to do is deactivate this checkbox. And if I don't want to save an image, all I have to do is deactivate this checkbox. However, if you are going to do anything like this, make sure you've got your wits about you so you know what to do when the render is finished. Either save the image manually or save the MXI manually, whatever. Another upshot of not saving the MXI is that it won't take up valuable space on your computer because sometimes, especially with multi-light enabled or print resolution images, these MXIs can get really, really big. And it takes a lot of time to write them each and every single time Maxwell Render updates. So remember, by default, Maxwell Render automatically saves your image and your MXI. By deactivating this feature, you can save yourself a bit of time, because Maxwell Render won't be automatically saving the image and the MXI every single time it updates. And you might also save yourself a little bit of disk space. But that's all from me today. Hope you've enjoyed that and subscribe. And email me at maxwellrenderbrightcdc.com or tweet me at jcommonlabs4design with any questions or suggestions. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon.